Right, so here's the piano parts and the chords and hopefully more of this popular song by Dido called White Flag. So it starts off with a really cool string orchestral kind of intro. So to adapt it for the piano, I've just written down the notes. Basically, you go... Okay, so try and follow this melody with my pulse. So that's E, F, G, A, C, C, and then C, D, E, repeat. You need to use all your five fingers. First time you do it alone, then you do it with the harmony. It's C with A, D with B, E with C. So whole thing again. And then in the left hand you can play F. And then A. One more time. Once she starts singing, I think you can just play simple chords. And the chords for verse are nothing but D minor. D minor again. And if you look at your note sheets, you'll basically see a double dot. So that double dot basically means play the chord for two bars. Okay. So that's eight hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. style works quite fine on the piano left hand does it once and the right hand does it well four times so you can call it like a one is to four ratio so that's one in the left and four in the right right so it's one two three four change and if you want with your thumb you can play the offbeat eighth note Let me try and do this with the singing and remember this is the verse of the song, okay? Na 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 Repeat that. Okay, then the pre-chorus. chorus chords are C major C major again G minor once A minor so the pre-chorus sort of builds up an anticipation it sort of leads us to the chorus and uh, makes the chorus all that more interesting right so the whole song pretty much has the same piano pattern 1 is to 4 uh, I've covered the verse the pre and now let's do the 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 chorus the chorus starts on b flat na 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 f na 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 head up g minor and surrender d minor and there'll be na b flat na 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 f na 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 c na 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 and sometimes she repeats it once more. So whenever there's a repetition, you could repeat it. So let me do the chorus once more. There's a 
nice bridge which comes along which is basically na na na, na f i've written down the chords f again ends with a nice c7 chord which is nothing but c major with a b flat on top so think of a seventh chord as a four note chord normal chords are three notes right so you add this seventh which is a b flat okay you can even arpeggiate it okay so it's uh, let me just play you the bridge once more again a minor g minor c c7 and back to chorus encourage you guys to do before you even start playing the song actually three things the first thing is listen to the song you really want to know the song in and out and also try to get an idea of the vocal line if you are a guitarist or a pianist don't just mug up the chords try and know the vocal line and try and sing it as you play that's a great way to learn i wish i was a singer you probably just heard me howling all through this video but um, yeah the, if i'm sure any of you guys out there will be able to sing better than that and if you can sing and play the keyboard or the guitar that will be quite a cool thing right uh, but that's tough clearly anyway so what you can do is first write down the chords of f major that's another important thing so f major has seven chords right three major three minor and one diminished i have written it down in your note sheet and get the rhythm really tight do it section by section and try and practice it with the singing either you will have to sing or you practice it with the singer try and do that that's the most important thing especially for songs which are singer songwriter these are songs which revolve around the singer so try to always practice with the singer and last but not least use the right inversions of the chord all the chords which you saw me play are all close shaped chords so it makes it a lot tighter a lot crisper and definitely a lot easier to play on the piano so i have also linked up our uh, video series on chord inversions i would encourage you all to watch that if you're not that good with inversions try to watch that and then come back to this lesson perhaps cheers all the best playing this song don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon for notifications leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends cheers